Hey guys, this is Lion of Judah from the Guild 7 from Thunderhorn Server. So glad to be with you guys on yet another campfire discussion. And here with me today is uh, two very special guests. I have my tank and one of my very, very good friends and brothers. Uh, his name's uh, Mogwin. So say hello. 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 And I also have another special guest with me is my guild leader from Seven, Zeratul, the idea man himself. Zera, say hello. Yeah, hello. Awesome. So today, guys, we have a very, very, very awesome campfire discussion with some really good topics. We're going to be discussing veteran rewards. We're going to be discussing possible fourth spec. We're going to be discussing an expansion without leveling? Question mark. Can I get a higher pitch voice? So, yeah, so we're going to start off with why hasn't Blizzard implemented any type of veteran rewards as of yet? And we have been hearing some news, you know, of course, with this whole, um, you know, people that have, you know, been playing this game for 10 years, almost like at the very, very, very beginning. And it seems like if you were playing in beta, you were given a, a statue, I believe it was. Um, but Zero, I'm going to leave this off to you because I know you've been playing this game since vanilla. And you did not get a statue, sad face. But why do you think Blizzard hasn't implemented any type of reward system? Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe they just think uh, we don't need it, we don't want it, uh, we don't, I don't know. Like, the subscribers are still paying, people aren't leaving in a mass amount of numbers, uh, I don't know, maybe they're too busy. Uh, I can't really, you know, answer that, but it it is kind of confusing because the game has been around for at least WoW for ten years. They did their ten year anniversary. Blizzard has been around for much longer than that. Uh, you got Orcs and Humans, Warcraft Two, II, Warcraft Three, their expansions, Starcraft, and a couple other games that I don't recall off the top of my Diablo. head. Diablo. Oh yeah, of course Diablo, Diablo Two, II, Diablo Three. But there's even games earlier than that. Uh, I don't know. A lot of other games in the industry offer rewards, whether it's stuff based on, you know, for every six months you play, you get, like, a free pet or a free name change or character race change, things of that sort. Uh, I'm not sure why they haven't implemented it, especially considering they have probably been doing it Actively, the longest than most people. There have been other MMOs out before uh, World of Warcraft, of course, but none that have still really, truly remained active, current with content. I mean, and it, it, now it just feels like such a prime time to implement such a reward system because you have people, I mean, we're back to 10 million subscribers, which is a great thing for the game and a great thing for players. Um, you know, to be playing with old friends and, you know, people coming back and stuff. But I think now is such a, I think it's like the right time to do it because I know Blizzard cares about us. I mean, heck, they they made these really epic stats. I saw pictures on MMO Champion of these statues. They looked amazing. And I know Blizzard has an eye for the people that have been paying for almost 10 years without missing a payment. And I feel like I don't know. Like it, it just feels odd to me that uh, uh, um, you know, you go to BlizzCons, you see how appreciative they are of their of their player base and their subscriber base, and yet no system whatsoever. Like, I mean, it just you know, Ben. I, I mean, Mogwin, I would love to know what you think about this. You know, because it's it just I don't know. Like, I know Zara no, probably wants to say a lot more than what he has already, but uh, why do you think they haven't put any type of reward system? Well, like Zara, I'm not exactly sure. You know, almost uh, every business out there, they'll, any business, you know, not just the gaming industry, but any business, a customer who's been around for a long time, you know, they've, they're they helping you stay in business, and you need to be thankful. You should be thankful to them and, and you know, possibly give them some kind of, uh, you know, perk or reward or something like that. And, you know, it doesn't necessarily discount. have to have a, yeah, a discount or, you know, some kind of, you know, in-game, you know, it doesn't have to be, a, it doesn't really have to have a monetary value, it just kind of needs to distinguish you from others, uh, in my opinion. I, I totally agree with that. I mean, there could be pets 
that only veterans could have. There could be an actual veteran title, you know, um, you know, like your name of old or something, just a, um, an old title. It just, they can do so many different things for us as veterans. I mean, me and Zara were talking yesterday on just some of the things, like if you've been playing this game for five, five plus years, you should be able to pay like, you know, hey, you know, we level our alts all the time and we're sick of leveling already. It's getting really ridiculous. You know, hey, pay $10 and we'll boost you to 100 because you've been playing this game for five years. You know what I mean? Like that would be awesome. That just would be awesome. just little things like that to kind of give back to the veteran players that have been playing this game and have leveled so many times. We're at level 100 right now. It's getting really ridiculous to be leveling from 90 to 100, 90 to 100 on almost 11 characters. I mean, I know for me on this server, I have 11 characters, and I want all of them at level 100 because that's when you start to do stuff, the interesting stuff, at level 100. So to be, not be at level 100, it kind of just, you know, leaves you in that lingering. But, you know, Zara, I, I know you want to add more to this, so I really want your input on, you know, if they were to implement a system, what would you like to see from it? Well, there are many things I'd like to see. I mean, some things they can't do just because, you know, you'll get people that are upset about the whole favoritism. Oh, they've been playing a long time, so they just get all this cool stuff, and I'm new, and I just don't get it unless I have to just play forever. So you got to, you know, be mindful. But there are rewards that other games do that, like, you know, every six months you get something free. So that, like... If they implemented, so, not in, I'm not saying to do just that, where every three months you get this way, everyone's fair. But maybe something similar to that, and something for people that have been playing for a long time. Now, I have been playing since vanilla, and I haven't been playing since beta. My official start date for my own character on my own account that I currently still have is June 6th. 2005 I think it is if I remember correctly so I didn't play at launch from the start now I played before that on other people's accounts I created my own little character messed around and you know then eventually the time when I got some money up and a better computer I was able to start my own account and I've been here ever since and I haven't been gone from the game for no more than a week maybe you know, during, you know, tough times being younger, not having the money. But, like, I did, I'm not one of those people that shut my account down for two years and came back. Now, I, I, I saw the statue they built for the people that have been since, you know, day one or beta. And that is awesome that they did that. That is so cool that, like, people are getting... And I saw the statue, and it's a work of art. The guys that build it, built it are amazing. But what about the people like me that, you know, I didn't start on, you know, November 27th, 04, whatever date it was exactly. Yeah. I was playing Diablo 2 still, you know, for free. I was still playing Blizzard game, but I have been here since vanilla. I think, like, certain players should maybe, like, even little things that maybe, like, you're saying, a title reward... Maybe there's a special mount we get that if you've been playing since the beginning of the expansion, or not the expansion, the game, that you can only get it. New people that start, sorry you weren't here, but you know, it's it's not like a piece of gear that's going to make you DPS, heal harder, tank harder, you know. It's something, it's novelty, it's cosmetic. And the same thing for Burning Crusade, and Wrath of the Lich King, and Cataclysm, like each one should maybe have a mount. You could say give them a pet, but a lot of people, I could care less about pets. A lot of people don't. A lot of people like mounts. Even for the people who don't necessarily care for mounts, like I'm not a huge mount person. Neither am I. I would still, I like some of my certain mounts, and I think they're cool. And, yeah, the same way. You know, and if, they're, if they do a really cool mount that, like, pays homage to vanilla, like, people would like it, people would use it. People kind of like status, like... People like to know that, you know, you were here since the start of it. And most people that have been playing, not all, but majority of the people that have been playing for ne since Vanilla really know what they're doing in the game. They're not the, you know, the Rhett Paladins and Holy and Tanking gear. You know what I mean? Which, that doesn't really happen anymore the way they did the gear, but that used to happen. 
You know, they're not those people. They're the people that are doing mythic runs, heroic runs, got, you know, the undying achievements, stuff like that. Yeah. There are a few exceptions here or there, of course. You know, there's always going to be an exception. But, like, things like that. And, like, I always said it would be nice to, but it'll never happen. I think if you've been here since Vanilla, maybe they should knock off $5 on a monthly subscription because you've paid them enough. It, uh, I, I I told yeah. a few people to do this once before. I said, you've been playing since Vanilla? Yeah. You haven't bought any? Don't worry about buying the mount you bought or any other subscriptions, character changes, race changes you paid for. Just add up how much you've given Blizzard Entertainment and subscription costs alone, and it will kind of get you sick. It will be thousands of dollars in subscription. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know, and then you go... Wow, I just I've been playing since Vanilla and I gave Blizzard twenty four hundred dollars in ten years. Yeah. Like you know, in ten years that's not a huge month, you know. Car insurance is obviously in ten years will pay fifteen times that, but it's just like, you know, we've been here keeping you guys up. We're the reason you're the biggest company in the world. Half of the reason you're the biggest company, you know, for MMO is you guys put out a pretty decent game. It is. Yeah. Every expansion, of course, is going to be things people hate and they don't like, and they say, oh, Blizzard's failing, but then they're awesome at this. You can't always please everyone. The other half of that is us, who have been here, who keep playing, you know what I mean? So maybe a little like, hey, guys, you don't have to do a $15 nut every month, or if I just check my bank account, it was 16.73 with tax. You know, like... Maybe knock the five dollars off, and yeah, that might piss some of the new people off. Why do they got to pay cheaper? You know what? They're entitled to it. You know, that's just a few of the things. I, you know, I always thought of. You know, and like maybe you know, give us a free race change or a free name change or realm transfer because we've been here for so long. You know, if it shows, oh, if they've got been here since vanilla. We're gonna give them ten pay- payable things to do, whether it's Race change, class change, name change, sex change, whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? You're entitled to ten because we're going to give you two for every expansion or one for this one, two for that one, depending on what it is. You know, and for each expansion, say you joined during Burning Crusade. Well, you're not going to get all the cool stuff the guy since Vanilla has been here with, but you're going to get some of it. And if you joined since Wrath, it's a little less, you know, but... Even those people, I know a lot of people that joined up at Wrath, because Wrath was the height of Blizzard. Like, there were more people playing WoW during Wrath of the Lich King than any expansion. More than Vanilla, more than Burning Crusade, more than Kata, more than Mist. Even more than now. I think it was up to like 17 million or something like that. It was insane amount of numbers, you know what I mean? So you got a lot of people that, like, they started in Wrath, and they're still playing today. And, yeah, they should be entitled to something, too. Like, think of how many years they've been playing also. But, yeah, maybe not as much as the guys have been here since the beginning. And that's just a thing I think of. Uh, One of the other things I always thought of is during Vanilla, I, you know, most of us that started the game, we didn't know everything about everything. There weren't websites out there to teach you how to spec, how to gear your stats. So a lot of us just walked around picking up whatever we put on, hitting spells to see what they did. And a lot of us didn't get to get to end content in uh, uh, Vanilla or Burning Crusade. Me, personally, I didn't get to do end content in Wrath. I you know, I just wasn't. Leveling was hard. I didn't get a chance to play as much. You mean Vanilla. Oh, yeah. Vanilla, sorry. And during Burning Crusade, I leveled up again, you know, because the new level cap came out. And I mainly did PvPing. I didn't do much raiding. And then when Wrath came out, that's when I kind of got, you know, midway through, I kind of got into raiding a little more and so on. But, like, I never was able to get my Shaman Tier 3. And it's really, like, you, I think you get through the Black Auction House or whatever. Yeah. Black Market Auction House. But, like, <clears throat> ridiculous amounts of gold and stuff like that. You know, maybe, like, the people that have been playing since Vanilla, maybe we should just have that in our void storage, you know? The stuff doesn't have stats on it, but we can transmog into Tier 3, because at least we were here when it happened. We were, you know, in the cities, talking to the guys with all the cool gear, you know, and wondering what was going on. Because back then, at least on our server, Thunderhorn, 
it was more of a community, I'd say, back then. I'd say WoW's gotten more into, oh, yeah. uh, you know, internet tough guy. I'm behind the computer, anonymity to anything I say or do. You know, the douchebags have increased, you know, 300-fold. And no one cares about anyone, and everyone's ready to, you know, call someone out on misspelling something. But back in the day, there was no... Th- no, you know, wow head and this and that. Like, I remember when ThoughtBot finally came in. That was amazing. It was like, oh my god. So what you did back then, when you started a character, you were level 12 or something, you didn't know how to do a quest, and you didn't have a friend that was levels higher than you, you went to trade chat, and people would tell you what you needed to do. Sometimes they would even, someone you never knew would go, oh, I'll show you where it is. I'll take you there. The, like, the community was a lot more like an actual community. It wasn't called a gaming community because, you know, they need a word for it. It was a community because it was. People helped each other. You went in the city. If someone could give you a buff, they did. They never met you before. You know what I mean? It's lost that a little bit over the years, of course. But, like, those people, if they're still around, they deserve something to say, thanks, you were here when it was at its worst in the beginning and its best and you stuck through everything that was broken you stuck through the bad times you stuck through you know you didn't leave when we gave you that last boss in dragon soul you know what i mean where everyone like clipped the fingernails and sat there waiting for the boss to actually come out you still didn't leave you know when you had to farm Golden Lotus rep for 400 years just so you can get to the rep you needed to farm that for 200 years, you still didn't leave. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, and there should be a little, you know, and they they have acknowledged these mistakes that, like, Persevere. yeah, that wasn't a good idea. And we've always just said, you know, don't worry, we have faith in you. Yeah, we think this sucks or whatever, but, you know, we're going to wait to see how you fix it and if it's going to be awesome. And for those people that have stuck around through all that to just be equivalent to everyone else, you know, that started 20 minutes ago, you know, and they, you know, got a level 90, played for a week, they're level 100, and they don't know anything, and, you know, they act like they're, you know, someone special, you know, this whole, you ain't special unless you've done something to be special, I think, you know, and sticking around is something special. So... As you can all tell, Zara is very passionate about this particular subject. I'm just saying. I can go uh, on for three hours. No, I know you can. But closing arguments for me on this, and then we'll t- we'll take it to Mogwin so he can and for say that his... And guy at BlizzCon that asked Chris Metzen what he had for breakfast, I hope that guy chew- chokes on a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I still think all that's right. Anyone who's going to watch this video, I am, you have to, the next BlizzCon, if you're there and someone gets up and does that, it is your responsibility to tackle that person and slay them. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, I was laughing off mic. Okay, closing arguments for me on this. They need to do it quick, fast, and in a hurry. They need to, I think it's, like I said, it's the prime time to do it. I don't know if that's something... Like, maybe it is scheduled for, for Warlords, maybe 6.2, 6.3, I mean, who knows? I mean, they, they have so much secretive stuff behind, you know, closed doors and stuff, so that could definitely be it. But, um, Mogwin, I would love to hear your thoughts, your closing arguments on this whole Veteran Rewards. Well, I, I just think that, you know, you, you've you been around a long time, you you've been a part of making... World of Warcraft, the number one MMO, possibly the number one game uh, in the world. And, you know, we, I, I've been around. I started uh, in... Uh, I was going to say, you started in vanilla, Feb- didn't you? Fe- yeah, February of 05, I believe. Yeah. And so, and uh, so I, you know, I've been around uh, a long time. Now, I'm, my progression is very similar to Zeratul's. And, you know, it was like... I'm running around in broken gear for <laughs> because it just it's so hard to get uh, enough money to uh, oh gold to repair crazy like back then. Yeah. Remember in vanilla when you got your first actual gold? How oh, amazing yeah. that was! It's that like, I was. Got one gold. <laughs> oh man! And you know it was, it was just like working hard, like in, in 
BC just working to get that gold so you can get that first flying mount that was actually slower than your ground mount, you know. <laughs> and, and uh, but it, you know, we I don't know. I think we've we've been around a long time, and we should uh, there should be something for us. It, it, just a title or something that says, hey, you know, thanks, you know, for being here. Here's this is for you. Yeah, I think that individualized. It's it's you know like what uh, Zeratul was saying. It's it's all about status, and I and I really do believe that a lot of people love it when they see something that oh like that's a a cool mount. How did you get that? It's like oh, well, you actually can't even get it. It's not as something you can do in game. It's I've only been I've been playing this game for almost you know seven years, and that's what you get. You know like that that's awesome. And then I would just think that new players. I mean, because Zero, uh, Zero was saying, like, oh, those people are going to complain. And I'm just like, no, I think if they are if they really do love this game, they will stick around for seven years just to get that. So that that way the next person, when they go over and be like, hey, like, how'd you get that mountain? It's like, hey, I've been here for almost seven years, bro. You know, get with it. But moving on to the next one, because we'll we can keep talking about this one. Hold on. One thing that I want to say before we move on is there were a few things in the game that weren't given to us, but kind of was status. During Vanilla, I was a master blacksmith, master weaponsmith, and to do that was very, very, very hard. And by doing that, I could make Lionheart Executioners. Now, they removed the ability to do this, I think, at the end of Burning Crusade. So, if you weren't someone who was in Vanilla, and got it done and it was hard you couldn't have these items so when transmog came about it was like ha i got two of them on my fury warrior now what and people would go where did you get those and i go i make them they're bind on pickup you can't ever have one because they're mine because i was here from the beginning and what they did, they went, oh, no, they got to be able to have those. So they put it in the game so everyone can have it now. Yeah, with the Reborn and that series. that pissed me off. And the guy at Blizzard who said that, I know what happened. Some guy ran from his cubicle, went into the office, and went, they, the new people can't have the Lionheart Executioner, the cool sword with the lion in it and the big blades, and it looks so awesome blade storming. so we got to make it so they can have it. That guy should have been immediately beaten half to death with keyboards, like, instantly. <laughs> but it didn't happen, and it's a terrible thing that it didn't happen. And not only that, but, like, Remember, you could actually, instead of linking, you know, you'd link your blacksmith abilities, but instead of instead of saying blacksmith, it would say weaponsmith. Yeah, and people smith. knew he did something really difficult that took a lot of time. Yeah, definitely agreed upon, uh, yeah. Uh, the whole you, Reborn you series was... On now. was kind of guys i hope you enjoyed part one of this campfire discussion go ahead and look for part two in the days to come as well as part three which will be discussing fourth spec possibly and no more leveling in an expansion so uh, like i said if you like this video please like uh, share on all social media networks and outlets uh, for all your friends to see uh, subscribe if you do love my content a lot i will have hunter guides for you again for 6.1 that'll involve survival marksmanship and beast mastery and how to play these uh how to play these specs to the best possible ability as far as to my personal knowledge uh best talents to choose from to increase your dps and they will be more of an in-depth kind of guide to to really kind of go over the nuances of all the you know the specs and you know the best ways to play them to outperform any other hunter on your server thank you again guys please like this video share it around and i will see you guys later